What we wanted was something where we could live a lifestyle that was really connected with nature and outside and uh, something where we could really open up a house and let it extend itself into the exterior and the landscape and really take advantage of the Southern California climate. Please say a command. Alexa, open front gate. We really wanted to create a tranquil experience the moment you stepped onto the property. So when you come in the gate, there's a, a beautiful auto court with the garage there that you know helps to support car life here in Los Angeles, which you know is a very strong part of our lives. The auto court then sets you up into this tranquil space as you move forward into the courtyard where we have the beautiful olive trees that are really kind of setting the tone for the experience in the house. One of the most magical things I experience in this home is that the light and the shadows and the exposure is always changing. And I find living in this kind of architecture very inspiring, it's connectivity to the outdoors. Once you do step through those gates, you really are kind of stepping into an oasis right smack in the middle of Los Angeles. And the living pavilion, which we're in now, is meant to be completely open and connected with the landscape. But in the sleeping pavilion, there's a sense of privacy where there, you, know, you can get away from it, you can still be private and have your own little sanctuary in your rooms. We've had our independence, we've had our ability to get our work done. And so we're able to come together then as a family and enjoy those times together. I'm Susan Mitnick. I'm the interior designer that worked with David and Jamie on their beautiful Laurel Hills residence. We were completely inspired by the original palette of the cedar and this black bean color of the exterior and then all the greenery. Really, it's like wallpaper. And we wanted to bring organic qualities into the house, which was really Jamie's part and David's part was the modernist part. And we just needed to combine them with texture and color and warmth. Everything in the house is these just beautiful sort of monolithic structures that hold their own, these pavilions hold their own, but they're completely open and connected. And that feeling just has so much presence. With all that weight, there's also this amazing airiness. And that's really the beauty of this house. The courtyard is one of my favorite places to be. It's so beautiful and I love those olive trees. There are 85 year old olive trees that were field grown they just give a soul to the architecture. And it's just this little oasis of, of nature and, and serenity, and I love it. The, the materials of the project are primarily Western red cedar and charcoal painted cement board and glass. We wanted a very simple, unaffected material palette, mostly to kind of blend in seamlessly with the landscape context. The design of the exterior spaces were as important as the interior spaces. A great connection point between interior design and automotive design is really in the material choices. A well-designed vehicle really can extend the feeling of a well-designed home. I mean, things like leather, and the stitching on the leather and wood, the metals chosen. I happen to think car design is absolutely fantastic. I'm intrigued by them as a design object, but then they're so functional in their design. Everything is really deliberate and for a very specific reason. The cross between aesthetics and functionality, those things have to be working in concert with one another for it to be really successful. I think there's something really beautiful about the art form of architecture where we build something out of nothing. We take a bunch of raw materials and we put them together and then we get a living machine. 